It is Tuesday, February 6th. You are looking live from our camera in Long Beach. Hello, everyone. It's turning 5 a.m. And here are some of the stories we're following today in L.A. Good morning. I'm Robert Kovacic in Playa del Rey. It begins as a basketball game between two Catholic high schools. It ends in a brawl, and this morning, two teenage boys are in the hospital in critical condition. And good morning, I'm Angie Crouch. An 11 year old boy is shot while taking out the trash. What's this all about? I'll tell you coming up in a live report. Then a NASA love triangle. What landed an astronaut behind bars? Plus you shop, they steal. The parking lots where thieves are targeting you. And good morning to you. Widespread records across the area yesterday. Did you feel the heat? Well, temperatures are gonna take a tumble today. No matter, still in the 70s. Details in a minute. And a good morning. Not a lot of problems out there, but we do have a problem on the 5 freeway in Valencia. Live drive 4D traffic coming up in a few minutes. Then the autopsy report on Mario Dinello, the kicker's condition before the deadly plunge. And a surprising setback for critics of President Bush's Iraq policy. We're live. And looking live right now at downtown Los Angeles, Today in LA starts right now. Live from NBC4. This is Today in L.A. Well, good morning to you on this Tuesday, February the 6th. I'm Chris Schaub. And I'm Jennifer Bjorklund. Rachel Bozing's here to get us started this morning talking about a little bit of rain in the forecast. Absolutely the right. Kind of day after day after day, we're going to have chances of rain. But not today. Today, we've got one more day of really nice temperatures, despite the fact that they are going to tumble. We're looking at downtown Los Angeles. You can see it in the distance. Long Beach currently, you are at 52 degrees. Bellflower, you're at 55 Santa Ana 51, Agora Hills 46, U2 Riverside. Here are your headlines for today. We are looking at temperatures tumbling about 10 to 15 degrees, cool and quote, still widespread 70s, mid and upper 70s, by the way. Chance of rain comes into play tomorrow and then it lasts through the weekend. Details in a moment. Here's Paul. All right, a little busy on our freeways in a couple of areas. 110 Harbor Freeway. This is northbound side, taillight setting northbound past Century Boulevard. Fairly smooth drive so far as you head up into downtown. And Valencia, northbound 5, Golden State Freeway. This is right of Valencia Boulevard on the off-ramp. Two-vehicle accident. There's also some tire and some debris in traffic lanes. That is causing a bit of a slowdown, especially in the right-hand lanes of the northbound 5. Overnight construction, northbound 57, transition to the westbound 60, still closed. Not expected to open up till about 6 o'clock this morning. Traffic on that north 57, already getting a little busy. Please be careful out there. Back to you. All right, Paul, thank you. Extra security will be in place this morning at Playa del Rey High School after a stabbing incident that has left two teenage boys hospitalized. Today in LA's Robert Kovacic is live outside St. Bernard's High School with the latest. Robert, good morning. Good morning to you, Jennifer. The LAPD's Pacific Division is going to meet in about an hour to figure out just how much they should increase their police presence here this morning after what one lieutenant describes as a melee broke out here in Playa del Rey last night at about 9.30. It came after a boys basketball game at St. Bernard. Several fights reported in this two block area near the school. One of those fights left two teenage boys stabbed. The alleged attacker took off. A vandalized car that you're looking at right now was found a block and a half away from the attack. The vandalism that occurred and it's unknown if it's related this time we're piecing the information together. St. Bernard had just lost by only two points to another Catholic school, Sarah visiting from Gardena. The critically injured boys taken to Harbor UCLA. The LAPD says one was stabbed in his back, the other in the back of his head. The knife lodged inside him when he was rushed to the hospital. No further word or description on the suspect. Lieutenant Bunch says there were several schools in attendance. St. Bernard's, by the way, has only about 600 students who go to school here, and the LAPD says the two boys that are in the hospital right now did not attend school at St. Bernard's. Live this morning in Playa del Rey, Robert Kavasic, Today in L.A. Okay, Robert, thank you. This morning, police are looking for the person who shot an 11-year-old boy in a Montebello neighborhood. Witnesses say the boy was taking out the trash when someone opened fire. Today in L.A.'s Angie Crouch is live in Montebello with the latest. Angie. Good morning, Chris. Montebello police are still trying to piece together exactly what happened in this shooting, but here's what they know so far. Chris, as you mentioned, an 11 year old boy was taking out the trash around 1030 last night at his home in the 500 block of Walnut Avenue in Montebello. He was shot in the abdomen in an apparent drive by shooting. Now, the boy's name has not been released, but police say he may not have been the intended target. Police say they'd been called to the boy's house just a day earlier, responding to a report of a fight involving 15 people during the Super Bowl. 
school. But when police arrived, they found no evidence of a fight. Now, at the time of the shooting, police say there had been a group of people standing across the street from the boy's house. One of them may have been the intended target. The group scattered when the shots rang out. We had just gotten home from a dinner and we were uh, putting our stuff away, you know, just settling down inside the house. And we heard about about seven, eight gunshots. They were really loud, so I knew they were really close by. Now, neighbors say this isn't the first time there's been a shooting in the area. They've heard gunfire before. Police say a dark colored car was seen speeding away right after the shooting. The 11 year old victim was rushed into surgery this morning. We're told he is serious but stable and he is expected to survive this shooting. We're live in Montebello this morning. I'm Angie Crouch today in L.A. Angie, thanks. Space Shuttle astronaut Lisa Nowak is due in court this morning to face charges of attempted kidnapping and battery. Police say it is all part of a strange love triangle involving a fellow astronaut. Today in LA's Chuck Henry explains. From Launchpad to the Orlando County Jail, astronaut Lisa Norwalk was arrested and charged with trying to kidnap the woman that her love interest was apparently dating. This is the official NASA photograph of the 43-year-old astronaut, and this is her mugshot. Side by side, they tell the story of two very different people. And it is really great to finally be here in Florida for the launch. Lisa, the astronaut, operated the robotic arm of the space shuttle Discovery. She spent 13 days in space. But back on Earth, she was involved with another astronaut, William Offerline, but he was dating another woman. According to the Orlando police, the astronaut snapped when she found out and hatched a plan then to kidnap the woman that he was dating, Air Force engineer Colleen Shipman. Monday morning, according to the police, she drove from Houston, Texas, where the astronauts work and train, to Orlando, Florida, to kidnap Shipman at the airport. She had it all thought out, going so far as to wear a diaper, which astronauts wear during launch and reentry, so that she wouldn't have to go to the bathroom during the road trip. Wearing a wig and carrying a knife and a BB gun, she walked up to Shipman's car in the parking lot. In the course of slapping on the window of the victim's car, uh, the victim cracked the window enough where pepper spray, mace, whatever you want to call it, uh, was dispensed inside the interior of the car. Uh, the victim was able to contact the police. For NASA, the space agency, this is another first, although it's not the kind they're used to. We have dispatched uh, a couple of senior astronauts, including our senior Navy astronaut, to see if we can get in touch with Lisa and see if there's any assistance we can offer her in terms of her health and well-being. Chuck Henry, Today in L.A. This morning, we are learning more about the trouble that led to actor Ryan O'Neill's arrest over the weekend. Police were called to his home in Malibu when his son's pregnant girlfriend called 911. What's wrong? I got hit by something. I can't see. Help me, help me. On Saturday, the 65-year-old O'Neill told police he came home after attending a birthday party for actress Farrah Fawcett and got into a fight with his 42-year-old son, Griffin. O'Neill said he ducked when Griffin swung at him with a poker. His son ended up hitting his 22-year-old pregnant girlfriend in the head. Apparently, a female stepped out of the location and is being treated by fire for unknown uh, injuries at this time. She stated there was a male inside that had a 417 and fired it. O'Neill said he ran to his room to get his gun and fired a shot at the banister to scare his son away. He was booked on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon, but was released within hours after posting $50,000 bail. The first soldier from Thousand Oaks to die in combat in Iraq has been laid to rest. Marine Lance Corporal Anthony Melia was killed by a sniper's bullet while on duty in Al Ambar province. Yesterday, he was remembered first with a processional down War Park Boulevard in Thousand Oaks, then later during services at the Calvary Community Church in Westlake Village. Lance Corporal Anthony Melia was 20 years old. In Washington, war critics are dealing with an unexpected setback that has them wondering just how to proceed with the debate on Iraq. Meanwhile, the president is staying focused on the fiscal angle. NBC's Brooke Hart, live in Washington with the latest. Good morning, Brooke. Morning, Chris. It wasn't the showdown majority Democrats wanted. GOP senators insisted that either all proposed war resolutions get debated or none at all, for now flexing their minority muscles and winning. Uh, the Iraq debate. We Senate the Republicans debate. called it a victory for fairness. The minority will insist on fair treatment. 
The motion is not agreed to. By a vote of 49 to 47, GOP senators banded together to deny Democrats the one up or down vote on troop surge they said Americans demand. The American people made it clear in the last election, it is time for a new direction. Republicans want to debate more than a bipartisan measure rejecting Bush policy. The question is, are we simply going to give up? They want pro-surge resolutions debated, too, and one committing funding to U.S. troops, who this week have fanned out with Iraqi forces in Baghdad to try to secure the capital. More proposals would weaken Democrats' goal of a loud no to the surge. You can run, but you can't hide. We are going to debate Iraq. Today, senators hear from Defense Secretary Robert Gates on the president's record budget request for the Pentagon. And on the House side, Democrats today aim their fire at former U.S. Administrator in Iraq, Paul Bremer. The White House hailed him as a hero after the U.S. invasion. Now his calls to disband Iraq's army and ban Saddam Hussein's party loyalists from work are widely blamed for setting the stage for chaos. So war critics have forums here to vent today. But as for any vote, party leaders in the Senate will continue talks over what resolutions will get debated. But for now, any Senate statement on war strategy is in limbo. Live in Washington, I'm Brooke Hart for Today in L.A. All right, your full forecast and live Drive 40 traffic up next. Also ahead, an autopsy report is revealing some new clues in the mysterious death of a USC football player. And two firefighters are hurt while battling a duplex fire and an explosion. Coming up, the latest on what may have caused that blast. Time is 5.08. Jim on his romance with Jenny, next Texas Hollywood. I have been an avid Yankee fan for my entire life. And on the next, Martha. He's an MVP, an all-star. He's a rod. New York Yankee Alex Rodriguez fields your questions. All new, next Martha. Today at 10. 599 shows of Ellen, 599 shows. You turn it on, you watch it laugh. I'm drunk. <laughs> With America Ferreira, it's Ellen's 599 show. Today at 4 on NBC4. This news update is brought to you by your Southern California Ford dealers. Not just miles per gallon, more fun per gallon. Recently, Car and Driver invited 600 of its readers to compare the performance of Camry, Accord, and the all-wheel drive Ford Fusion. The fusion, you could really, really push to the edge more. Yeah, you step on the gas, got a good throaty sound to it. It put a smile on my face. Ford Fusion, a winner in performance and a leader in total quality over Camry and Accord. Now just sign and drive off. It's that simple. Lease the front-wheel drive Fusion SC for only $2.59 a month. With zero down, zero first month's payment, and zero do it signing after Ford's rebate. Just sign and drive. What's your reason for calling Empire today for your new carpet? Shop at home convenience? We'll bring brand name samples to your home so you can choose the color and texture that's just right for you. Immediate installation? Empire will install your new carpet next day. On a budget? Save with warehouse direct prices plus no payments till April 2008. Shop at home next day installation and no payments till April 2008. All great reasons to call Empire today. Call now. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE Today. West Coast, here we come! We'll be Foster Farms chickens in no time! <laughs> hey! Y'all don't come back again! Ow! Whoo! We're here! Two fresh Foster Farms chickens! No way you're from Foster Farms. Yeah. Foster Farms fresh chicken. Always natural, always fresh, always California grown. Queen Pillow Top Mattress Sets from $4.99? You're not dreaming. The biggest name in furniture is now the biggest name in mattresses. Introducing the Mattress Center at every Wix Furniture Showroom. Get Sealy Posture Pedic, Simmons Beauty Rest, Nature's Bed, and even Temperate Pedic, plus free bed frame removal and setup. If you're buying a mattress, you've got to go to Wix. Queen Pillow Top Mattress Sets from $4.99. How about 89 degrees yesterday for the high? A record-breaking high, I might add, in downtown Los Angeles yesterday. Widespread records. Today, we're still going to be on the warm side, but our temp temperatures are going to take a big tumble, easy for me to say. We're looking outside. Currently, it's 55 degrees in downtown Los Angeles, 51 degrees for Garden Grove, 52 Santa Ana, 51 degrees Anaheim. Here's a satellite radar showing you what's taking place. 
That offshore flow is going to get a battle on its hands as an onshore flow starts to develop today. Another warm day, but temperatures are going to cool. We're going to see that cooling of about 10 to 15 degrees. Still widespread mid and upper 70s. The chance of rain tomorrow starts tomorrow. 89 degrees is the record high in downtown yesterday. 87 for Woodland Hills, 87 Ontario. Those are just a few of the records. 78 degrees will be the high today in Riverside, 79 for San Bernardino, 76 Glendale, 78 Pasadena, 76 Anaheim. We'll be back in a minute, Paul. All right, let's take a look at your morning drive. Looking at the 405, this is northbound of Mulholland Drive. That looks good. Southbound already getting a little busy as you head down toward the Santa Monica Freeway. Still clearing a problem in Valencia. Northbound of the 5, Golden State Freeway, Valencia Boulevard, off-ramp. Still have that accident. A couple of vehicles still clearing. Still some tires and some other debris in traffic lanes. Just a minor slowdown through that area. Some heavy traffic as well. Northbound of the 5, between Paxton and San Fernando Mission Boulevard, two right-hand lanes closed, overnight road work. That's expected to open up by about 6 o'clock this morning. Be careful. Don't forget to buckle up. Back to you. All right, Paul, thank you. An autopsy on USC football kicker Mario Danello reveals he was drunk when he fell to his death last month. Danello died from multiple traumatic injuries after he fell more than 100 feet down a rocky cliff in San Pedro. The 21-year-old kicker was found to have a blood alcohol level of 0.23 nearly three times the legal limit in California. Investigators have said his death was either an accident or suicide, and there are still questions that need to be answered. Fire investigators say they have ruled out a meth lab explosion as the cause of a blast at a duplex. That explosion and fire broke out yesterday afternoon in the Westlake District near downtown. Two firefighters and two people were hurt, but none of the injuries was life-threatening. Some tenants had reported illegal drug activity in the building. Investigators say the cause may be drug-related, but they did rule out a meth lab explosion as a possible source of that fire. And the investigation continues into the fire that engulfed a 75-year-old commercial building in downtown L.A. You may have seen the beginning of it here on Today in L.A. More than a dozen businesses were destroyed or damaged in that fire yesterday. Damage estimates in the millions. Well, first he admitted to an affair, and now San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom comes forward with another revelation. But first, shoppers targeted. Police have a warning for people who frequent big box stores. But first, a live look from the crush cam there in Orange County. Details on your traffic and your full weather plus forecast when we come back. The time right now, 514. Tonight at 11, it's a tale of two cities, cars versus bikes. You tend to feel a, like you're being bullied a lot of the time. And the relationship is growing more tense. There is no sense of sharing. It is a battle for space. Fast moving cars, potholes, distracted drivers, confrontations are on the rise. I think it's dangerous for them to be in the same lane as a car. And so are injuries and deaths. Is there any hope for peace in the road wars? Tonight on the Channel 4 News at 11. This Valentine's Day, Tell her you love her without saying a word. With savings of up to 50% off store-wide at Crescent. Like this lab-created ruby and white sapphire ring pendant and earring set. All three, just $99 at Crescent Jewelers. Winter. It's the perfect season for fresh, ripe fruit. That's because it's actually summer in Chile, where nature has created the perfect world for growing delicious fruit. Chilean fruit is at the peak of perfection right now. Let the fruit farmers of Chile bring summer home to you. Chilean fruit, summer is here. Taste the summer fruit of Chile right now at Ralph's. TL retuned. Introducing the high performance TL Type S. Acura. Advance. Let her fall in love with you all over again with diamonds from Crescent at savings of up to 50% off store wide. Like these beautiful half carat round and baguette diamond rings. Your choice, just $149 at Crescent Jewelers. When you want the latest medical breakthroughs and news that can improve your health, log on to NBC4.tv. Always on, always current. You're watching Today in L.A. 
They strike in parking lots at major home improvement stores, burglars who target trucks while the owners are buying supplies and equipment. Today Annalise, Patrick Healy has more. I came out of Home Depot and my box was opened up. It was pried open. Oh, they Plumber Joe Sawyer says it happened to his work truck in San Fernando two weeks ago. The saws, all batteries and chargers he kept in the lockbox, all gone. Had to go right back in and buy new batteries and chargers and, you know, to, you know, because this is my livelihood. Shannon Stevens says it cost the waterworks plumbing business she runs with her husband $6,000 to restock their work van with all the tools and equipment taken a little over a year ago while he was buying parts at the Canyon Country Home Depot. And when he came out, he opened up the side door of his van and everything was gone. Just the whole truck cleaned The out. whole truck was cleaned out. This Home Depot on Soledad Canyon Road has security cameras, but the Stevenses were told not focused on where their van was. The San Fernando Home Depot has security guards watch the parking area, but that did not help Sawyer. Nobody saw what happened. We have a lot of people reporting crimes in that area. Officer Adrian Flores told us San Fernando police have for several years run sting operations in the Home Depot parking area, baiting a truck with loose gear, one time actually being left untouched, but other times netting suspects from a variety of backgrounds. To come of opportunity. And also of preparation to take heavy, bulky items. They stole my, my, my paint sprayer right out of the back. And the tile saw of Kelly Shields' brother-in-law. Had a chain on it. They went up there, cut it with the bulk cutters, and yanked it right out of there. Once again, that's a, probably a $1,000 machine there, too. Public relations manager Catherine Gallagher told us the Home Depot is committed to safety and security both inside and out and takes additional steps were indicated, such as adding security in San Fernando. But it may take more than that to lure back once-burned, twice-shy tradesmen. I'm going to have to go somewhere else, definitely. I can't afford to take a major hit on the truck. Of course, vehicle burgs do occur in other kinds of locations. Every holiday season, shoppers are warned not to leave gifts in their cars at malls. Thieves sometimes target the parking lots for gyms, looking for money and jewelry left in vehicles by those going to work out inside the gym. So perhaps the moral to the story is try not to make your car into a rolling safe. Unfortunately, that is not always possible for workers and contractors who need to travel with their tools and supplies. Reporting from San Fernando for Today in L.A., Patrick Healy, Channel 4 News. Former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani has confirmed the presidential buzz. In a television interview, he said he is forming an exploratory committee to run for president. Yesterday, the Republican filed candidacy forms with the Federal Election Commission. Giuliani was widely praised for his response to the September 11th attacks. His competition on the Republican side includes Arizona Senator gonna, John McCain and former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney. San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom says he is seeking treatment for alcohol abuse. This comes just days after revealing he had an affair with the wife of one of his most trusted aides. Newsom says alcohol is not an excuse for his lapse in judgment. 39-year-old mayor is running for re-election in November and says his outpatient treatment will not affect his duties as mayor. Okay, the time right now is 5.19. Let's check traffic. Here's Paul. All right, well, let's take a look at the 10 freeway. This is eastbound of the 605, westbound of the San Bernardino freeway, leaving the 605, heading in toward the 710 through El Monte and Alhambra. Fairly smooth drive so far this morning. Problem finally cleared northbound of the 5 Golden State Freeway, right of Valencia Boulevard. Off-ramp has been reopened again. Earlier accident and debris has all been cleaned away. Northbound of the 5 from Paxton up to San Fernando Mission Boulevard. Overnight road work, two right-hand lanes are shut down, and you're in some very heavy traffic now. That slowdown all the way back toward Osborne Street. And if you're out of the Santa Ana Canyon, heading eastbound on that 91 Riverside uh, Freeway, right before Surface Club Drive, watch out for a wheelbarrow. That is in the right-hand lane. Traffic swerving to avoid that, so please be extra careful. All right, let's check the weather. Here's Rachel. Thanks, Paul. You know what? It was a toasty day across the Southland. Records were being set, old records broken all across the Southland. We're looking at downtown Los Angeles. A beautiful shot, a few clouds around. Currently, the temperature in downtown is 55 degrees. The wind is calm. Your humidity is 74%. The barometer is steady, and we're forecasting a high downtown today of 76 degrees. 
That is above the average high of 69 degrees for this time of year, but much cooler, I say that in quotes, than yesterday's high of 89 degrees for downtown Los Angeles. Here's what we're looking at. That ridge of high pressure moving on off to the east. The airflow around that high is still in that clockwise manner, so we do have an offshore flow in place. However, it's going to get some uh, heat from an onshore flow that's trying to develop thanks to a low pressure system and a cold front. So as you can see, these clouds will be streaming in our direction. So we've got a little bit of a battle going on. Nonetheless, we are going to see another warm day, despite the fact that that sea breeze and the ocean air is going to chip away at our high temperatures. Our temperatures are going to cool about 10 to 15 degrees from yesterday's highs, but still widespread mid and upper 70s. And then we get our chance of rain developing tomorrow. That low is going to sit to the northwest of Northern California. Disturbances will move out of it and rotate through our area. And that means we do get chances of showers yesterday, just, you know, to give you some water cooler chat. 89 degrees, the record in downtown Los Angeles. 89 for Riverside, 87 Ontario, 84 degrees for Costa Mesa today. 79 degrees will be the high in San Bernardino, 77 in Ontario, 76 for Glendale, 77 Burbank, 72 Redondo Beach. A chance of sprinkles coming into play on Wednesday, and then we keep that chance of rain all throughout the weekend. We will be back in a moment. Have you ever dreamed of having a career instead of just a job? Call AIU today to find out how you can earn your bachelor's degree in business in less time than you'd think. Even study online. Choose entertainment and sports marketing, healthcare management, human resource management, management, or marketing. AIU faculty members aren't just instructors, they're professionals with real experience. So call AIU Los Angeles now for a free brochure. Don't wait. Pick up the phone and get started today. AIU, from here to your career. Is the IRS ruining your life? Are IRS penalties and interest compounding daily? Stop the cycle now. Hello, I'm John Harris, president of J.K. Harris & Company. The people who negotiate for our clients are former IRS agents and tax professionals. They've helped our clients save millions of dollars. You too could qualify to significantly reduce your tax debt. Call the IRS experts at J.K. Harris now for your free confidential tax settlement analysis. Call 1-800-893-0344. Traffic on the 101 is backed up as usual, and it might be an hour or so. Break away from your everyday. Luck be a lady. And escape to Pechanga, Southern California's favorite four-diamond resort casino, with 180,000 square feet of gaming thrills, featuring a stunning new poker room. Lady Luck has never been so close. All right, man, high five! Come on, man, high five! Pechanga Resort and Casino, close to you, far from your everyday. Homeowners, here's good news. Universal Rock Pool and Spa, the area's most wanted builder of pools and spas and remodeling existing pools, now offers free estimates. Simply call 1-800-215-9394. And if you call now, you'll receive a free color brochure. Remember, you're not ordering. You're not obligated. You're just calling for further free information. Universal Rock Pool and Spas, 1-800-215-9394. When you want the latest in entertainment, log on to NBC4.tv for what's inside and where it happens. NBC4.tv. Always on, always current. Just log on to NBC4.tv and click on entertainment. It's 525. There is a new survey that finds it's getting more expensive to rent an apartment. The real estate company Marcus & Millichap released a report on the nationwide rental market and says overall landlords across the country are expected to raise rents another 5% this year. Analysts say it has a lot to do with the weakening housing market and higher demand for rental properties. The report says rent in Los Angeles is expected to rise almost 6% to an average of $1,440 a month. The makers of a new energy drink say it'll help you lose weight, but one state government wants proof. Connecticut's attorney general has started we an investigation into the drink called Invega. Nestle and Coca-Cola Company teamed up to make and market the drink. They say it boosts your metabolism and helps you burn calories. But the attorney general has asked for proof by next week to back up that claim. A Coca-Cola spokesperson says the company stands behind the product and the calorie-burning claim. And right now, this morning's news headlines and stories ahead today in L.A. Good morning, I'm Robert Kavasik in Playa del Rey. A Catholic high school begins the day with the LAPD after two teenagers are stabbed following a basketball game. And good morning, I'm Angie Crouch. Why was an 11-year-old child gunned down while taking out the trash? I'll have that story coming up live. 
All right, we have a few more problems. Accident on the 210, the Foothill Freeway. Also, problem on the Hollywood Freeway. We'll have your live drive for the traffic coming up in a few minutes. And the heat is still on. We are going to see our temperatures tumble, but widespread 70s. Details in a minute. Also ahead, it's a case packed with heavy emotion. This morning, a teenage girl convicted in a local hate crime attack learns her sentence. Also, do you recognize this woman? Police hope new photographs will shed light on what is now a murder mystery. It's 527. Hey, thanks for stopping by. You know, I, I followed your character since the first episode. I'm a, I'm a big fan, big, big fan. Thank you. And listen, your storyline, it makes for incredible TV drama. Thing is, your drug use is very adult content. Too adult for the kids. So I'm gonna have to block you. Oh, yeah. Well, have a good one. You're a nice lady. I'm confident. I have more energy. My abs, I mean, I don't have a six, but I got a four. Bally has been great. Join Bally Total Fitness now for just $19 down and $19 a month. Call 1-800-FITNESS. 30 days later. 30 days later, I am one hot mama. I lost 14 pounds. Three pant sizes, four inches in my waist. There's no more junk in the trunk. It's all in the right place. Join Bally now for just $19 down and $19 a month. I just feel absolutely wonderful. Call 1-800-FITNESS for the club nearest you. Easy Off Ban Power Cleaner has the power to remove stains like soap scum. It removes no soap scum. Just spray and wipe wherever their soaps go. It removes no soap scum. Better than scrubbing bubbles. Better than scrubbing bubbles. Bam, bam, tiles. Tubs, shower doors, sinks. Bam, bam, tiles, tubs, shower doors, sinks. It even has the power to remove mime scale. The power has the power to remove mime scale. Just spray it on and look at that shine. Look at that shine. Easy on, easy on, easy on. Bam! And you're done. I'm hungry, and I'm not gonna starve myself anymore. I'm hungry, and I'm not gonna starve myself anymore. And I'm not going to starve myself anymore. Why diet hungry? Exercise, cut calories, and eat post-shredded wheat with 100% whole wheat fiber. I'm hungry, and I'm not gonna... Experts say foods rich in fiber can help keep you satisfied while you lose weight. Post-shredded wheat. Why diet hungry? What is the Danmer difference? Danmer Custom Shutters is a reliable family-owned company. For over 30 years, we've been handcrafting the highest quality, energy-efficient custom shutters right here in California. Plus, we stand by one unconditional promise. Treat every customer as if they were our only customer. Call 1-888-DANMER8 for your free in-home design consultation, and we'll take 25% off your shutters if you mention this television commercial. Call now. There's no obligation for your free consultation at 1-888-DANMER8. Jewelry, the perfect gift. Half carat journey pendants, $199, matching earrings, $249, three stone rings, $149, and half carat eternal love pendants, $139. We guarantee the jewelry we make to appraise for double by Factory Direct, the jewelry exchange in Tustin. Live from NBC4, this is Today in L.A. Good morning. It is Tuesday, February 6th. I'm Jennifer Bjorklund. And I'm Chris Schauble. Good morning to you. Let's turn our attention to Rachel Bozing. Gorgeous yesterday. Going to drop off a bit today. That's right. Definitely widespread records. New records set yesterday with the heat. Temperatures climbing today. We are going to see our temperatures tumble a good bit, 10 to 15 degrees. But you know what? We were so warm yesterday. We'll still be running above average in most spots. Hollywood, you're currently at 55 degrees. Ontario, 54. Fullerton, you're at 50. Here's what we're looking at. We're looking at temperatures cooling that 10 to 15 degrees. Still Mid and upper 70s. We're forecasting a high downtown today of 76 degrees, the average high 69. And then we get a chance of sprinkles coming to play tomorrow. And that chance of showers lasts throughout the weekend. Paul? All right, let's take a look at your morning drive as you head into Orange County. This is southbound 57 freeway. Heading down through the Orange Crush Interchange. Not a bad drive so far. Starting to get a little heavy as you head down and join the 5 Santa Ana Freeway. Have some trouble on the 210 westbound before Sunflower Avenue. Hit and run collision, vehicles being cleared to the right hand shoulder still. Bit of heavy traffic now back beyond the uh, 57 freeway curve. And if you're on the Hollywood freeway southbound past Sunset Boulevard, stalled vehicle in the bus lane, that is slowing you back into the Coenga Pass. Please be careful out there. Back to you. All right, Paul, thank you. Topping our news at 5.30, an 11-year-old boy is hospitalized this morning after he was shot outside of his home in Montebello. Police say the shooter might have been aiming for someone else. 
Today NLA's Angie Crouch live in Montebello with the latest details. Good morning, Angie. Good morning, Chris. Montebello police say this shooting could be gang related and they don't think the 11 year old boy who was shot was the intended victim in this shooting. Now, investigators say that the boy was shot while taking out the garbage outside his home in the 500 block of Walnut Avenue in Montebello. This happened about 1030 last night. Now, police had been to the house Sunday night after somebody called to report that some people were fighting during a Super Bowl party. Now, that altercation may have involved the victim's brother, who police say had recently been released from jail. Now, by the time police got there, nobody was fighting, but investigators suspect that the shooting could be linked to that reported altercation. Now, at the time of the shooting, a group of people were standing across the street from the boy's house. They all took off running when the shots were, fi were fired, and a dark-colored car was seen speeding away from the scene. Police think the shooters could have been targeting one of the people outside or perhaps the brother. Neighbors say, unfortunately, shootings are all too common in this neighborhood. We had just gotten home from a dinner and we were uh, putting our stuff away, you know, just settling down inside the house. And we heard about about seven, eight gunshots. They were really loud, so I knew they were really close by. Now, the 11 year old victims in serious but stable condition this morning following surgery for a gunshot wound to the stomach. He is expected to survive. Police are looking for witnesses to come forward and they say you can do so anonymously. We're live in Montebello this morning. I'm Angie Crouch today in L.A. Angie, thanks. Two teenagers remain hospitalized in critical condition this morning after they were stabbed following a high school basketball game. It happened in Playa del Rey. That's where Today in LA's Robert Kovacic is standing by with a live report. Hi, Robert. Hi, Jennifer. It actually happened here at St. Bernard's. If you've never heard of St. Bernard's before, that will come as no surprise. It's a small Catholic school. Only about 600 students are enrolled here. And the LAPD tells us that the two boys that were critically injured did not attend St. Bernard's. In fact, several schools were represented when this fight broke out last night. It happened after a basketball game. The brawl did not break out on the court, but in a two block area near the school at around 930 last night. A car was vandalized during what Lieutenant Dan Bunch described as a melee. The game had already finished. The people had already left and a fight broke out outside on a near adjacent street. St. Bernard's boys team had just lost a two point game to visiting Sarah High of Gardena. The two boys rushed to Harbor UCLA last reported in critical condition. One stabbed in his back, the other in the back of his head. And that is where the knife remained when he was taken to the hospital. They both went to other high schools. We don't know their names. We don't know much about who they are. Much not much has been released about them. We don't really know much about the suspect either. Only he is described as a teenage boy in a white shirt and took off. So as this investigation gets underway as to what happened, why it happened, and who is responsible, the LAPD will be at this small Catholic high school when school gets underway this morning. Live this morning in Playa del Rey, Robert Kavasic today in L.A. Okay, Robert, thank you. This morning, the last of nine black juveniles convicted of taking part in a Long Beach hate crime Halloween night against three white women will be sentenced. Yesterday, four of those teenagers were placed on 60 days of house arrest and ordered to perform community service. It's a sentence that drew criticism from victims for being too lenient. It is the same punishment that was handed down last Friday for another four teenagers. A ninth teenager, a girl who was 17 at the time of the attack and has since turned 18, will be sentenced today. LAPD homicide detectives have released new photographs of a woman whose burned body was discovered on a Playa del Rey street. This is a picture of Nicole Harvey, Investigators say the 21-year-old was shot to death, then set on fire. Firefighters found Harvey's body in the 8100 block of Tuscany Avenue after a driver reported what he thought was a trash fire. So far, police have made no arrests in the case. Investigators have released these new photographs in the hope that someone will recognize Harvey and come forward with information. Actor Daniel Baldwin will be in an Orange County courtroom later today to answer charges of taking a friend's SUV without permission. He was arrested last November in Santa Monica when police saw him getting into a GMC Yukon that had been reported stolen from a friend's Aliso Viejo home two days earlier. Baldwin is the brother of fellow actors Alec, William and Stephen. The man accused of abusing a mentally impaired patient at an Anaheim facility has made his first court appearance. Patrick Solis waived his preliminary hearing, and he'll return to court later on this month. Police say Solis is the man seen on a cell phone video slapping an adult who is said to have the mental capacity of a toddler. 
Investigators have review, or interviewed the man who owned that cell phone, reviewed the tape, and they have named that man who owned the cell phone as a potential witness in the case. Three robbery suspects are behind bars this morning, accused of posing as police officers. Back in July, a news photographer caught this black Ford sedan carrying men wearing housing authority badges and threatening nightclub goers. Now, that same license plate is turned up on a car authorities say was used by three police imposters. The suspects are accused of using police disguises and badges to rob food vendors in South Los Angeles. A special meeting on gang violence in the San Fernando Valley will be held today. Officials are concerned about a recent spike in violence and criminal activity that appears to be the work of one gang in particular. That has drawn the attention of Los Angeles City Attorney Rocky Delgadillo, who will meet today with members of the San Fernando Valley Coalition on Gangs and Law Enforcement, along with community members, to see what can be done. The deep freeze gripping the Midwest and the East is now blamed for at least six deaths. NBC's Jay Gray has more. For many areas, this is the first deep freeze of the season, and the winter blast is causing some serious, even deadly problems. In Kentucky, a car slid off the ice and into a frozen river. The passenger escaped. The driver did not. I mean, I tried to kick the window and tried and tried and tried to kick the window, but I couldn't get him out. In Columbus, Ohio, firefighters had to battle flames and the freezing conditions. Excess water turned to ice almost immediately. And to keep the water flowing in Chicago, crews used blow torches to thaw icy mains. It is a very real concern, especially in areas like Chicago, where the wind chill has dropped to dangerous levels at times 30 to 35 below zero. And no warm up in the forecast for at least another week. Jay Gray, NBC News, Chicago. 538 now a live drive 40 traffic update. Check your weather coming up next. Plus celebrating what would have been Ronald Reagan's 96th birthday. Details on today's special ceremony. And they said it wouldn't, they wouldn't do it, but now several airlines are rolling back ticket prices. But just how long can this last? You can make your own promo too. Show us what's great about your LA. You can win the ultimate Blu-ray prize pack. What do you do for fun? Shopping tips, great places to eat. Just grab your camera and shoot a commercial for your L.A. I work at home, so I take break every day at 1130 and watch it on NBC. Then upload your video to YourLATV.com or send it to us. All you have to do is film it and send it in. So that's why I'm watching Your L.A. on NBC, 1130. This Wednesday is Mervyn's 12-hour clearance blowout. We're opening late to save you more. And we've taken thousands of drastic markdowns overnight to bring you this incredible store-wide clearance blowout. All items originally $4 to $14 are now $2. All items originally $15 to $29 are now $4. All items originally $30 and up are now $6. Don't miss this final winter sale and clearance. Mervyn's 12-hour clearance blowout. Wednesday only, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So, I'm on that roasted chicken Italiano diet. I just started the turkey noodle diet. Beef and mushroom diet. You've got to try it. You won't believe what you can eat while still watching your calories. Because 25 of your favorite Progresso soups are 100 calories or less per serving. Chicken noodle. And it shows. <laughs> Here's something new, a reduced sodium soup that's delicious. It's what you'd expect from Progresso. 50% reduced sodium, 100% great taste. Queen pillow top mattress sets from $4.99? You're not dreaming. The biggest name in furniture is now the biggest name in mattresses. Introducing the Mattress Center at every Wix Furniture Showroom. Get Sealy Posturepedic, Simmons Beauty Rest, Nature's Bed, and even Tempur-Pedic. Plus free bed frame removal and setup. If you're buying a mattress, You've got to go to Wix. Queen pillow top mattress sets from $4.99. Automatic wipers that adapt to the uncontrollable. A tire monitor that adapts to the unseen. Headlights that adapt to the unknown. Ultimately, a vehicle that adapts to you. The Lexus RX 350. See your Southern California Lexus dealer. This news update is brought to you by the intuitive and powerful 306. Horsepower is 350.
And welcome back. You know what? It's going to be another warm day across the Southland. Know that. But we will be cooler than yesterday's widespread record-breaking heat. We're looking out over Long Beach where it's 52 degrees. As we go directly to our Weather Plus radar, it's 52 in Pomona, 51 in Ontario, 50 in Rancho Cucamonga, 55 degrees in downtown. Lots of clouds around. Here's a satellite radar. We'll show you why. We've got clouds streaming in thanks to a low pressure system off the northwest of Northern California. Still that offshore flow is going to try to flex its muscles. So another warm day, despite the fact that temperatures will be dropping 10 to 15 degrees from yesterday's highs. And then a chance of rain thanks to that low. We're going to see that chance of rain linger through the weekend. 78 will be the high in Riverside. 76 for Glendale and downtown. 71 for Torrance. 72 Redondo Beach. 76 Anaheim. 67 Malibu, 77 Woodland Hills, 76 degrees for Northridge. We get a chance of sprinkles coming into place on Wednesday and then chances of rain for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even Monday, Paul. And we're looking at problems on the 710 Long Beach Freeway. This is southbound of the 710 before Del Amo Boulevard. Have an accident, truck and a couple of other vehicles involved. That activity is cleared off to the right hand shoulder, but still going to find some moderately heavy traffic now back toward the 91 freeway. Earlier problem hit and run collision westbound of the 210 before Sunflower Avenue out in Glendora. Accident there that is cleared off to the right hand shoulder, but that activity still causing a bit of a slowdown back through the San Dimas curve. And a problem as well, this is on the Hollywood Freeway southbound just past Sunset Boulevard. And we had a stalled vehicle in the bus lane that had been slowing traffic back into the Coenga Pass. That has now been cleared. So traffic there getting back to normal again as you head in toward the downtown area. And also keep in mind overnight construction causing a problem on the uh, eastbound 91 just before Surface Club Drive. And there's also wheelbarrow in the right lane to watch out for. Don't forget to buckle that seatbelt. Back to you. All right, Paul, thanks for that. The U.S. negotiator to the nuclear talk says North Korea must get out of the nuclear business entirely. U.S. envoy Christopher Hill is in Tokyo on his way to Beijing where the six-way nuclear talks will resume this week after being stalled for more than a year. Hill says the U.S. is ready to offer energy or economic aid, but only on the conditions that North Korea shut down its reactor and accept inspectors. A public meeting is set for tonight in Palm Springs to talk about a new area code in parts of Riverside County. The current 760 area code covers the cities of Barstow, Indio, Lee Vining, Palm Desert, Palm Springs, and 29 Palms. But that area code is being beginning to run out of numbers, so a new 442 area code will soon be phased in to provide more numbers. Today would have been the 96th birthday of former President Ronald Reagan. The day will be marked with a special ceremony at the Reagan Library in Simi Valley. There will be a wreath laying in the president's honor, a 21-gun salute, and an air reserve flyover also to mark the ceremonies. A band from Camp Pendleton will perform at the library along with the United States Naval Academy Men's Glee Club. Well, doctors say a new tool is showing promise in preventing strokes. The inspiration, those parachutes used by skydivers. How the breakthrough treatment works coming up. And looking live right now at downtown Los Angeles via our jam cam, the 110 freeway looking good at this hour. It is early though, it's 544.